Hi, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal, and today is an anniversary of a death that I covered before, and I'll provide the link below to that video, as well as the link to uh, this blog post. But what I want to look at is the abortion lobby's response to abortion deaths. On October 7th of 1963, 21-year-old Ann Keenan died at a hospital near Detroit from complications of a septic abortion. Now, Ann Keenan was the brother-in-law of Mitt, uh, sorry, the sister of Mitt Romney's brother-in-law, Lauren Keenan. During the 2012 presidential election, Obama supporters dug into the past, found the story of Ann's tragic death, which I agree, it's absolutely tragic, but the story went viral. Mitt would let me die again, okay? So, yeah, it was ripe for milking for politics, and the coverage was pretty thorough, including quotes from Anne's friends and relatives, and much was made of the fact that Anne's parents requested that memorial funds be given to Planned Parenthood. Um, somehow the women that die from abortions at Planned Parenthood were not supposed to yeah, Idrika Good, Holly Patterson, don't worry about them. Yeah, they, no, 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 don't need to look at them. Don't need to look at the women who died from abortions at Planned Parenthood. Cree Irwin Shepherd, cue crickets. Now, exactly who perpetrated the fatal abortion didn't seem to pique the interest of those who wanted to hang Anne's death around Mitt Romney's neck. There was a lot of speculation, but no facts were offered. And yeah, it's entirely possible. In fact, there's about a 90% chance that Anne just went to a private OBGYN and he did the abortion for her. She did come from a well-to-do family and 90% of pre-legalization abortions were done by doctors. And I think the last thing the abortion lobby would want to do is dig into this and find out that, oops, Anne had just gone to a regular OBGYN and had an abortion done under exactly the same circumstances it would have been done had abortion been legal because they have to to blame the death on the legal status of abortion. And that's where the dividing line comes between which deaths we have to prevent and which deaths are just, yeah. So all surgery has risks. So you follow the link below to the post. I went through in 10 year increments, 1903, 1913, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, 2003 and 2013, and I looked at abortion deaths. And I find it very interesting that no matter what the circumstances of a legal abortion death, the whole reason it happened is either all surgery has risks, or if those anti-choicers didn't pass all those health and safety regulations, those doctors wouldn't have to keep such slipshod facilities and women wouldn't have to go there. So, you know, go down, look at these deaths, and ask yourself why Anne's death was one where we have to make abortion legal so this never happens again, but when it happens again now, when it's legal, meh, who cares? What kind of attitude is that? And how much do they really care about women if they don't want to shut down seedy places that are killing women now.